This video is going to show you how to use the menu widget in Tekinta. So we all know menus are our little friends at the top of our screen here and a very important part of any graphical user interface. So let's, how do we actually make menus in Tekinta? So this is a little example window we're going to make up here and these are our two little menu items. You click on the menu and you've got further menu options down here. So you can say hello or you can say goodbye or we can change the background to being white or yellow or back to white. So um, how do we do that? Well, let's look at the code in here. So as usual, we've got our usual code where we have created um, our window, we've imported to Kinta, we've created our window, and down the bottom here I have run the main loop. Now, in the add window component, it gets a little bit more complicated. First off, I'm just going to put a little um, message label in here, which is that label there. So we've got something to work with, and it starts with a default color of white. Um, and I'm just going to pack that in and put it both. Now remember, I've had to name this message because we're going to actually change it, so we need to address it later on. So let's actually create the menu. So the first thing we need to do is to create the very top menu along up here. This thing up here and this one along here. Radio. so we're gonna call that the menu bar. That's that bar across there. The menu bar is a name. You can call it whatever you want. You can call it Alfred, it doesn't matter. That's the menu bar and it is a menu and it goes into root. Okay. So we have done the menu bar and the menu goes in to root. Okay, so up here, um, we now need to create the text menu. So what we do to create the text menu is, I now have the text menu and the text menu is a menu which goes in to the menu bar, which is this one here. So our text menu, goes into the list of options on our menu bar, as you can see there. Now the next little command we've got here, or the next option we've got here is tear off. Um, and tear off basically allows you to click on there and drag your menu out and have it floating around. Like you often see in um, programs like um, um, Photoshop. So we don't want that to happen normally. So if you don't want that to happen, um, make it tear off equals zero and it doesn't allow it to happen. So I've now created my text menu. I've now got to put these two little components into the text menu here. So the first thing I come into here and in the text menu, I'm going to add a command. Rightio, and that command is hello. So I'm adding a command hello and the command up here is going to run the hello um, function. So we'll bring that up in a second. Um, so now we've done that. I also got to add my command goodbye, text hello and goodbye. So I've made my two commands. And then what I'm actually going to do is then I'm going to add those as cascades. So add the um, menu bar. So in Adding the cascade, that is actually making this little drop down here, that's called the cascade. So I have named my menu, text menu. Um, I then added the commands that I want to go into that menu. And now I'm going to add that as something that cascades down off my main menu. So the menu bar, which is our main menu we've got up here, we have added a cascade as in a menu that will drop down from it. The label is going to say text as it does there. And the menu that drops down is my text menu, which of which the details I have set up there beforehand. So you need it in this order. You need to actually create the little submenu. You need to add the commands in for the submenu, and then you need to add the cascade. So we've done the same again for the background one. Um, I've made a background menu here. Um, and I said it's in the menu bar. I've created the two commands for that, which is a command white and command yellow. So in the that there, you see the white and yellow. Um, and then I have then added um, the menu bar. I have added a cascade, something that drops down from the menu bar. I've given it a label called background. And what it drops down is the background menu, again, whose details I have created and defined there. So I need to display the menu now. So in root, 
I need to configure and the menu so this is for this window so there's a special part up here called menu for this window for the root window the menu needs to be menu bar which we've defined all the details of through here so now let's go up to our functions because these are our commands that we have to run and they're commands just the same as a button so if I say hello then I basically want the to reconfigure the tech um, the message label to say hello um, if I click on goodbye we want it to say goodbye if I click on white I want the background to become white if I click on yellow I want the background to become yellow so let's see we all have that now let's um, run that yes I wish to save it and here we are there is our menu which is going to say the stuff and do what we want it to do so there you go, that's how we make a menu.